It's so cool. Look. This has been going on for several weeks. The blackmailer makes me do my maths assignments in advance and leave them for him in a specific place. He's just sent me fresh orders. It's the fourth assignment he's demanded, and I'd better obey or else. Or else what? What? <laughs> or else? Or else he's threatening to show everybody this photo they mailed to me. But that's so sweet. What's the problem? Where's the problem? I've become really popular at school this year, and if this photo gets around, my reputation will be ruined. Oh, I can see that. This photo was taken in your home at night. Any idea who took it? Well, I've given a lot of parties at the house lately, and quite a few buddies have slept over, but I don't see them snapping me while I'm sleeping. And which of these buddies is worst at math? No contest there. It's my pal Phil. He really is the worst in class, but I'd be surprised if he had anything to do with this. It's worth checking out. Well, George, the SBI will be happy to take on your case. Warn us as soon as the blackmailer sets the drop-off point for your next assignment. Thanks, Sally. Ask you a couple of questions between stunts? No time, kids. I've got better things to do. I'm skating. Wow. SBI, I'm requisitioning this vehicle. You want to listen? Okay. Try to follow Teach. Teach, are you blackmailing George to make him do your math assignments for you? <laughs> That's a good one. If I wanted George's assignments, I just have to ask him, and he gives them to me whenever I want. Doesn't look like it's him. How about seeing Betty? She must know lots about George's buddies. Who is Betty? She's his sister, Banana. She's in her class. You know, the little dark-haired girl who always blushes when you talk to her. Please, Betty, you know your brother's friends really well. Any untrustworthy? George has hundreds of friends. I don't know them all. This year he grew up so suddenly. He became very handsome and so he's very popular. But why do you want to know so much about my brother? He's hired us to investigate. George told you about his problems? With his assignments? Yeah, but don't worry. The SBI will soon find out who's behind this. George, can you sign my English book? And um, would you have a photo of you at the beach? No, no, no. Make a list and send to George. We'll see what he can do. See you tomorrow, girls. Betty, it's time. Let's go. I hope he's got wide doors at his place, or else his head won't go through. Ah, oh, see how good he is with his little sister? He's so cool. Maybe, but I've got a plan to find out which of his buddies has improved his math grades. Isn't that cool? Your so cool plan is to burgle Mrs. Smith, the math teacher's locker. Very subtle. Just think, she keeps all the students' grades right from the start of the year. That way you can see who's improved. Check to see if anyone's coming. I won't take long. <gasps> Red alert! McAdam, Bollywood. A corridor is designed for walking, not doing laps. Whew. The only student who's improved his grades in spectacular fashion recently is Jason. And look at George's. He's been in free for all year, and then over the last three months, he's suddenly improved. It's crazy. By studying in advance of the blackmailer, he's improved his grades. Yeah. In any case, Jason owes me a reason for his last three fantastic grades. Wait, Sally, he's the judo champion. Not bad, champ. Mind telling me how you're doing so well at maths? Ow, stop! You're hurting me! It's my elder brother. He's been helping me ever since he got back from overseas. Dewey? George got a text message for next delivery. Right away? Okay, I'll meet you there. Oops, sorry. My mistake. Looks like the SBI got the wrong person this time. Opposite you, Mango. It's not very subtle calling me. Hang on, someone's coming. SBI, stop right there. Black 
Blackmail and George? Doesn't make sense. You're too young. You don't need George's assignments. Who do you give them to? Nobody. I just have to collect them. And then the lady phones and I say, Mission accomplished, and I get my kicker use in my mailbox. Your kicker use? What are they? Oh, where are you from? They're manga superheroes. I'm collecting all their stickers. And you're absolutely sure nobody picks up the assignments? I'm certain. They're still at my house. I can show you if you want. I live just here. No, it's OK, Matthias. You can go home. But we may need to contact you later on. Bye. It's pretty weird to make somebody do his assignments and then not even use them. And what if the blackmailer was the math teacher, Mrs. Smith? It's a great way to get students to work. They're all scared, they work really hard, she doesn't need to collect the assignments and... And she walks through walls at night to take strange photographs of her students. OK, can you suggest anything better, Sally Superbrain? Miss Smith or not, the blackmailer is going to put some kicker use in that letterbox between now and tomorrow. Great, we just need to stake out the letterbox tonight and we'll catch her red-handed. We just have to ask our parents' permission. But that shouldn't pose any problems. No. no, that's out of the question. It's out of the question. You'll not spend a night outside your letterbox. So how do we do it? Plan B. Still have your video, Moggy? It's not a video, Moggy. It's a camera cat. There. It's running. 16 hours of recording. And what if the blackmailer is just some girl looking for revenge? <gasps> Like drama in the wind with Anwar Khan. George shuns the girl, so out of unrequited love... She makes him do mathematics. That's stupid. No, you don't know anything about girls. It's not stupid. It's romantic. If you think that being soppy is being cool, well, my girl, you're way off the mark. There. Now we just have to watch it at the good old office. Great. I'll call George. Look, it's a shadow. No! Get that flea back out of there! Naturally, a camera cat will attract cats. Sorry, George. We thought we caught your blackmailer. But we're not beaten yet. I could maybe bring up a gadget to monitor Matthias's phone. Maybe you could recognize the voice. Yeah, that's not bad. OK, I'll just go on doing my assignments under threat. Well, at least because of this, you're working harder and your grades are improving. Yeah, maybe I can prevent my parents changing my school. They'll send me to military school if I fail this year. That'd be such a pity. Especially for Betty. She'd be so lonely without me. She's so anxious at the idea that I might go away. I haven't dared tell her about the blackmail. Oh, well, bye. Hold it, there's something wrong here. George hasn't said anything to Betty, but Betty's known about it from the start. And she won't have a problem taking his photo at night. Betty, don't you have something to tell your brother? Like, perhaps, a certain traffic in tests? Huh? I didn't want you to change schools. Oh, well done, SBI. You ruined everything. Now his grades will fall again. But Betty... It's because of your stupid popularity. Well, I'll take care of this. We have to catch her. What's she going to do? She's going to send your photo to all your friends. It's too late. She's locked herself in a room. She's going online. That's the end of my reputation. Wait, I have a brilliant idea. Give me a boost and toss me in the air. Do you really want to make your brother look ridiculous in front of the whole school? I just wanted him to study so that he could go on taking care of me. That's all. If he leaves, I'll be alone. You won't always be able to count on your brother, Betty. But there are lots of nice people who can become your friends. Don't worry, Betty. You're my little sister. Even if I do change school, I will always look after you. Wow. That's so sweet. Am I cool? Skateboard, improved glasses, change of colour every two... Ah! 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 Uh, hi, I'm Erna. Betty? We have gym class together, right? We could train in the park. You are cool after all. By accident. You're too kind.
you can collect them all and have a ball. I'm flipping Dragon the Unicorn. <laughs> Everybody's flipping for Flipazoo. More to flip, more to hug, more to love. How many are in your Flipazoo? You can get your new Flipazoo for $19.99 plus $8.99 processing and handling. As a special surprise, you'll get a little Flipazoo free with your paid order. You can go online at flipazoo.com to see all the Flipazoos you can choose. Each sold separately. Must be 18 or older to order. Not one, it's two. It's Flipazoo. Get new looks with like new clothes at ThreadUp. I recently discovered Thread Up and I'm like in love with it. Purses, shoes, I buy so many of my clothes on that site. Everything on this website is pre-owned, but it's all excellent condition. Find the brands you love for a whole lot less. I would normally never shop at J. Crew because I know that they're really expensive. In real life, I would never buy shoes like this, but they are these Michael Kors pumps. This sweater from Gap is $36. Do you know how much I paid? $10.99. It's easy to find your size, your favorite colors, and the brands you love. And it's easy to return any items you're not happy with. If you haven't shopped at Thread Up, what are you waiting on? Go on over there and get your shop on. Save on all of your new looks with like new clothes. Go to ThreadUp.com today and we'll take 40% off your first order. At Zulily.com, we search far and wide to bring you thousands of amazing daily deals on big name brands and boutique styles for the whole family and home. Whether it's something for a little bit of me time, costumes and props for playing dress up or make believe, or the latest styles for a get together with the girls, or home essentials for building the best living room fort. Go to Zulily.com today. Big deals for a small window of time. This is the story of a boy who didn't talk for a long time. The boy liked things to always be the same. Any changes would scare and upset him. The unknown was an unfriendly place. The boy was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. He wasn't trying to be mean, it just made him feel uncomfortable. Sometimes he would flap his arms again and again. One day I found out I have something called autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I found my voice and learned all the way I could live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Hanging around for hours, the star of the Bretts. At the movies, a star from hell, Karina Khan. Ah, I've had enough of being spied on. who registered as Karina Khan. Some little joker. You need a sense of humor to use the name of an actress that appears in such stupid films. Are you kidding? Lovers in Calcutta was great. And Lovers in the Ganges. Karina Khan! Shut the door. The paparazzi were following me just now. So, what can we do for you? Ever since we started shooting from Bombay with love, somebody's been taking secret photos of me and sending the pictures everywhere. Internet, TV, the papers. It's unbearable. Yet another horrendous day shooting with Karina. It says Stereo Lane on set. Karina strikes again. Hide your spotlights. The witch is on the boil. Who's making me out to be a nasty girl? What do you mean? 
fans will go off me and the producers will choose another actress. And I'm nothing like the mean girl they describe. I don't make any fuss. I'm really sweet. Surely you can see that. It's the perfect time to test my cyberfly. Have you tried contacting the TV channels, the papers, websites? Of course! Those journalists are as dumb as posts! Ooh, is that a new Karina Khan movie? No, she's downstairs in the SBI. Oh, by all the holy cows, kids, you're moving up in the world! What is she here for? Thwarted love, money problems, a love-struck fan? That's a professional secret, but we'll have a little fun with my spy flop. Have you considered that somebody close to you might have taken these? They do look pretty intimate. Get out of here, you bug! <laughs> Doesn't the diva like our groupie spy fly? Do we? You mean that a friend could have betrayed me? How awful! If anybody's done that, he's gonna be in big trouble. And with all these stories, even Javed is starting to be nasty to me. It's a film with Javed Leto. Javed Leto from Flight on the Horizon? We absolutely have to investigate on set! Um, what I mean is, we need a cover so we can investigate discreetly at the shoot. Show me how tall you are. I'd like to introduce my new double, Sally. Why are you changing your double? Wendy was perfectly fine. Uh, Javid, actually. Karina's keeping me as her makeup assistant, so there. Okay, actor, why don't you learn your lines instead of criticizing me? And why don't you stop acting like a spoiled starlet and give us a break? Then we might finish the picture. Ah, oh, you get on my nerves. Not the best atmosphere, eh? Look, Javed hasn't stopped fiddling with his cell phone all this time. If he can't stand Karina, maybe it's him who's trying to get her fired by sending those photos. You try and find out what he's up to. I have to go and make myself look beautiful. Oh dear, we nearly forgot the earrings. Oh, uh, that's right. Karina wears the same one in all her films. Don't forget to give them back now. So you really like Karina? You know, I'm an actress myself and Karina's a role model for me. And I'm her best friend. And, well, better than Javid anyway. Between Karina and Javid, it's open warfare. Apparently, his sister Asani should have played Karina's part. I'm sending you the photos of Karina. You'll like them. I'd say we've got him. Now your character is up the mast and wants to come down, but there's a hurricane blowing. So your stunt is to swing down to the X on the deck by hanging on the rope, okay? Give us some green. Action! Put something into it, Sally. More emotion! <laughs> <laughs> You think it's funny? Oh. Fire that jerk or I'll get really mad. Okay, fly home, my little spy fly. Bring Dewey some nice evidence. <laughs> <gasps> nice job you've got. Do you get paid for swallowing flies? <coughs> I spy fly. Well, any progress? What have you got? The good news is that I had all the proof to show Javed was guilty, but the not-so-good news is that I swallowed it. Okay, don't tell me anymore, especially the details. The best thing is to go and find the proof where it is, in Javed's cell phone. He must have a scrambler code. Give me two minutes and I'll crack it. I'm the king of pin. That makes eight minutes and 15 seconds, king of pin. You can start by telling me what you're doing in my dressing room before I call security. You're the one who's spying on Karina. I heard your conversation. You said you will send the photos. I was talking to my agent. He needs a photo of Karina for publicity. Take a look. Okay, one nil, false trail. But they say that your sister should have played Karina's part and that you're furious. My parents refused to allow Asani to work on this film. She's still too young. 
You should ask for your money back on your detective lessons. When you accuse people, you need proof. <laughs> Javed, you must come and see this. <laughs> the latest scoop, Karina takes a dip. Will this put her fire up? <laughs> Karina would like to see you for a moment. A really professional SBI, I hire you and the worst ever photo of me gets displayed everywhere. Shall I find the culprit for you? That'll be quicker. But maybe if you weren't such a brat, there wouldn't be photos like these flying around. Security! <laughs> you really sent those two packing? I'll show you who'll be flying around. What style? About a small part in the film. Wendy, you're so selfish. I've got too many problems. For now, you can go back to doing the stunts and you'll still be in the movie after all. Well, this is certainly a number one. It's the first time we've been fired from a case. That actress was a load of trouble. You know, all this counter-publicity for SBI. Karina, it's getting even worse. How low can she go? What on earth is this stupid TV show? Super Scandal is a very instructive show. I entered their quiz, won a fan visitor pass, and can now go on to their set. OK, the SBI is not going to be outwitted by a scandal sheet. Come on, Dewey, we pick up the case where we left off. Don't you think there's something funny here? I didn't see who took the photo, and yet I was there on set. Look, there's me, Karina was there, the director, some technicians. Are you listening? According to the angle of the image, the only person who could have taken that photo on the set is you. That's impossible. I didn't have a camera with me. Look at my sari. And my earrings. The, the proof, proof is on the set. set. Uh, how are we going to look for it? There's a slight guard problem at the door. With me? No problems. Only solutions. Hello there, sir. I want to pass on to the set by answering a super scandal quiz. Yeah, OK, yeah, right. Uh, come on through. Hmm? <laughs> Infiltration accomplished. Phase two, locate target. You have to be cautious as cobras. Hey, you little brats, you belong outside. What a lucky coincidence. Wendy will explain it all. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Karina, you're my best friend. The only one. And I don't even have a camera. If you want to be an actress, learn to lie better. You hid a tiny camera in your earrings. You used it to take the photos you sent everywhere. Wendy! <gasps> but why? You don't realise how lucky you are, Karina. You've got it all, and you give nothing. Every time I ask for help, you just send me packing. You wanted to get her fired and take over her part? I didn't want her part. I just wanted one small part. But she wouldn't even help me get that, because she only thinks of herself. At least now the press and fans know what she's really like. Was I really as hateful and selfish as that? Uh, yes. I shall not forget you, even when I return to leave again, as I return to leave yet again. Cut! That's the one! I wanted to thank you. I've got a small part in a film. Karina put in a good word for me with the director. <laughs> <laughs> Javed, how do you think I look? Ah, uh, gorgeous? How lucky! The director is giving me the part of the hero's mother. Mm. At K-12, we believe that every child is uniquely brilliant. Our full-time tuition-free online public schools allow students to school in a way that brings out their strengths. What I like about being able to educate my son at home is that he gets to be strong in who he is. 
not conform to be somebody else. He was testing out at second grade level, and now he's at fifth grade level in a few short months. Now I know how to read a lot better, and I am much faster in my chapter books. My friend goes to K-12 too, and she comes over to my house in the morning to do school with me. The quality of education that we have at K-12, it's top notch. Students can spend the amount of time that they need on a specific subject before moving on to the next. Every student has their own way of doing things and their own way of thinking. And if you give them that opportunity to bring that out, they will. My teacher is amazing. I love her. I get online learning, offline learning, and hands-on learning. I'm extremely happy with the results. I would recommend K-12 to anyone. Our students succeed beyond K-12. They learn skills that colleges and universities value. We have technology that allows us to work individually with students. It definitely helps them prepare for success after graduation. She has the opportunity to work independently, and I think that's uh, critically important when you look at a college education. The curriculum is rigorous, so when a student earns a diploma, they've worked hard for it. I have three children that have done the K-12 curriculum and they've all received scholarships. They were so prepared for college. They knew how to study, they knew how to manage their time. The main focus of K-12 is student success. I think the commitment that we have to our students means everything. Join the growing community of K-12 families who have succeeded and graduated with an individually tailored, tuition-free online public school education. Call now or visit k12.com to learn more. Tuition free for grades K through 12 in most states. What silly things does your dad do? Once the cat pooped, and then when daddy was walking where the poop was, he stepped in. Ugh! Had to clean his sock up. First he picks up and then he spins me around and around and around and then when I get all dizzy he holds me and then he just drops me on the couch without pulling me on gently. Sometimes he dances with my mom and then he just wobbles around like that and just stands in the ordinary place. <laughs> um, well my mom doesn't like him passing gas in the bedroom. But he does do that a lot of times. <laughs> Welcome to Todd World. Hi, I'm Todd, and this is my world. Cheerful, playful, colorful. That's it? That's it. Really? Told you. Wonderful world. Oh. This is something I'll never forget. Come play with Todd and all his friends in Todd World. See you next time. Love, Todd. Here on Cubo. Gorgeous cat, such soft fur and so sweet, cute, and cuddly. Would you like to see it? Oh, great! Oh, I just adore cats. Maybe the pet shop will let us stroke him. Uh, I have to go to see my cat. She's a Bengal. They look like little leopards. She's called Blossom. Oh, Blossom! What, what a cute name! Oh, adorable. How adorable! Oh, oh, yay! Cool! Can we come and see Blossom, Cassie? Well, the house is a mess, and I'm not sure my parents are there. And... It's great. We won't be disturbed. Lead the way. Blossom, here we come. Well, I prefer to have a horse. But I guess they're not so practical to keep in your house. <laughs>
Hi, Sally. Hi, Naomi. Okay, so you're Saffron and you've made Dewey do some exercise. My Aunt Doreen went on a trek to Tanzania and she left us stuck with Saffron. And I have to take her out for walks. Looks like he's taking you for the walk. <clears throat> um, I came for an urgent case, but if I'm disturbing the FBI... Sorry, Naomi. Is there something we can do for you today? A break-in? Frame-up? Contract? Blossom has been kidnapped. It's the new girl's cat. Well, he's been stolen. Could you help her find him? Whoa! Uh, hang on, Sally. I'll drop Saffron at home and I'll be back in a few... <laughs> Sally? Dewey? What are you doing here? SBI. Naomi sent us over here. We've uh, heard about your missing cat and we're here to help. If you want us. Are you sure? I mean, uh, thank you. Come in. And this is where she used to sleep. Here are her cat balls. Do you think that Blossom could have escaped through the cat flap in the door? There isn't one. And then I heard the catnapper's voice on the telephone. It wasn't a joke. What did the voice sound like? Uh, a normal voice, like someone our age, you know? Wasn't there anyone at your house this afternoon? No. My parents were at work and my brother left to go camping with his friends a few days ago. And the catnapper didn't leave a ransom note. It's really strange. Hey, <gasps> look over here. Footprints that the thief left. Beautiful footprints, really muddy, and they'll be perfect for testing my newest invention. Girls, pay attention to this. Hey, look, I know what you're thinking. What is this stuff? So, has he gone nuts? <clears throat> well, this powder will show us many of the details about the person or persons who made these footprints. And with this wand, all will be revealed. Approximate weight, height, age. Dewey, you're a genius. This powder is a masterpiece. Watch this. Uh, Dewey, your masterpiece is ruining our only clue. Well, at least you invented a great detergent. <laughs> You've got absolutely nothing to worry about. We're the Sally Bollywood investigation team. We'll find her. We've never lost a single animal to this day. What are we going to do? No clues, not even a ransom note. Okay, Dewey. Here's one solution. We see your mother. My mother? What can she possibly do for us? She's got a secret weapon. I thought we were supposed to be on a case, not taking a flea bag for a walk. We are, Dewey. Think about it. Did you ever meet a dog that didn't like chasing cats? Ah, you had to say it! And you think she'll find Blossom? Is she a police dog? Almost. Saffron, seek. Find Blossom. Cat, Saffron, find the cat. See? It's a clue. For investigating, this dog is as useful as a screen door on a submarine. Why me? Okay, so we ended up with the only dog on the planet that's totally cool with cats. Hey! Not more running! Whoa! Hmm, the cat's only. Saffron! You didn't quite get the idea. Here you are! Get that dog out of here! That was a great idea you had. The case is advancing. Now we know Saffron is normal. She likes to chase cat. Achoo! Achoo! You're really strange with cats, Saffron. You didn't give a hoot about the cat at Cassie's house, but now you're overexcited. Hello, Sally Bollywood of SBI speaking. How am I... Oh! We're coming. That was Naomi again. The catnappers have sent a ransom note for Blossom's return. Here's the ransom note. If you want to see your cat again, hand over $20. 20 That's not much for a cat. And don't make contact with any police or private investigators. No private investigators, eh? Well, well, well. We'll see about what that. What are you doing here? The ransom note said no detectives! No, Saffron! Heal! Stop! Wow, oh, I'm a genius! I knew that powder would work. I just didn't give it enough time. That's yeah. enough, okay? You have to leave! The thief said no investigation. Blossom's in more danger. Look, Cassie, we're on the tail of the thief. We can't stop now. No, Cassie, the SBI never gives up. And that thief is going to get what he deserves. Hello? Yes? I understand. Whatever you say. Please go! Ah, that was the catnappers. They saw you. You've got to leave or I'll never see Blossom again. <laughs> Sally, Dewey, you must leave. This is my last 
last chance to find her! On this image, there are a lot more footprints than earlier. And oddly, they are made from the same shoe. Are you saying that the prints were made before? Yes, in the weeks and days before the catnapping. And look, some footprints are old, and some are newer. So Cassie must know whoever it was who made the footprints. It could be a close friend, or a cousin, or a relative. That's Mum! Mum, you okay? Thanks, my dear. Don't you worry, kids, it's an allergy to cats. There are a lot of the set of Vampirella against the bearded dumb cats. So you're allergic to cats? <laughs> Since when? All the Bacadams are super sensitive to cat hairs. It's a weak trait. So that means I'm allergic to cats too. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? No. Yes. I think we need to pay Cassie another visit. We'll leave Saffron with you. Have fun. Do you have any idea what's going on? when he was inches away from that cushion. He's allergic to cats, you know. I don't know. Maybe he just got cured or he isn't allergic after all. Oh, if only. I cried and coughed like crazy going to the cat shelter earlier. I would have sneezed if a cat had been anywhere near this. I... I don't understand a thing that you're saying. And can you explain this? I think they're the shoes that made the footprints in the kitchen. I found them in your brother's room. Oh, you mean your brother who's been on holiday for a week and who would never steal Blossom? Can you explain that to us? I know he didn't. Cassie, you never had a cat. No, Blossom! But that's nonsense! That's just completely crazy! Just you stop all your insinuations. I was there with Cassie when she got the first one, and you were here when they called to get you off the case! Hello? Yes, I've won the lottery! Woohoo! I can't believe it! I'm gonna throw the biggest party! You've actually won the... It's easy to make it sound as if you're getting a phone call. Cassie, you made up everything. The theft of the cat and even the existence of the cat. Ugh! Leave me alone! <laughs> Want to explain what happened? I just wanted to be a bit more interesting. I wanted people to talk about me. It's sort of hard fitting in when you're new to a school. <laughs> And when everyone seemed so excited about the cat in the pet shop, I, well, I just made up this stupid story about having a Bengal cat. And then one lie just led to another? Yes. I just panicked when the girls said they wanted to come and see my cat. So I made it look as if I had a cat and then sort of arranged a catnapping. I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. I just wanted to, to make friends. I'm sorry. Perhaps if we'd included you in things a bit more. We all know that we love to be liked, but just how far will we go to make our friends believe we glow? I only know if you try to deceive, your friends will all just up and leave. Your friends will all just up and leave. Hey, here comes our super furry detective. Thanks to you, we solved the case. <laughs> You two make a great team. What have I done to deserve this? Isn't good no, no. or enough. No, it's a plated night. Yes. So let's plan for great. We'll start with plated.com. Plated delivers everything you need to cook great dinners at home. Whether you're a food loving family or an adventurous duo, all the shopping and measuring is done for you. So all you do is follow the simple step by step recipes. Each week, you get to choose from fresh takes on classic dishes to culinary creations you never dreamed you could make including dessert. So gather around the table and enjoy seasonally inspired dinners. It's fun. It's easy. Otherwise, it wouldn't be great. 
Go to Plated.com now and plan on getting your free Plated Night. Our gift just for trying Plated. Mm. Plated Nights will be your greatest nights. Plan on a free Plated Night at Plated.com. Don't settle for good. Plan for great. You always pay your insurance on time. Tap one little bumper and up go your rates. What good is having insurance if you get punished for using it? Newsflash, nobody's perfect. For drivers with accident forgiveness, Liberty Mutual won't raise your rates due to your first accident. Switch and you could save $782 on home and auto insurance. Call 1-844-605-9779 for a free quote today. Liberty stands with you. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to France. Egypt. Japan. England. I'm Sam. And I'm Sophia. Come along with us on a round-the-world adventure. With Little Passports, you'll get a package in the mail every month with fun activities and cool surprises from all over the world. We'll send you pictures from everywhere we go. And letters. And awesome souvenirs. Ready to take on the world? Come along with Little Passports. Learn more at GetLittlePassports.com. We'll see you soon. Must be 18 or older to order. With Little Passports, there's definitely a combination of independent learning and family learning. They have a box that comes every month. The first thing they want to do is forget homework, forget the snacks. They just want to open it up. They're learning about different countries. They're learning about different cultures. They are starting to appreciate how big the world is. This is an activity that we all do together, and it also brings our family together. It's so important to think beyond your universe, and that's why I love it. Learn more at GetLittlePassports.com. Must be 18 or older to order. princess and you have really really long hair you get it you get to use a prince and climb down it you get to be married um um we get to wear a crown and you get to wear a beautiful beautiful dress you get to you get to ride a pony you get to have all the jewels that you like um um this is i do like my Blue princess dress with uh, my crown on it and, and, and all the blue diamonds. Do you like my crown? I like your outfit. Thanks. I like your outfit. Thank you. The queen. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, you should be nicer to your cousin. He came a long way to spend his holidays with us. I'm sorry, Mrs. Apu, but I'm really glad he's going. This has been the longest week of my life. I am the most popular guy at school. Mum, I got an A in history. This year, I didn't wet my bed. Another lie detector? <laughs> Forget it, those things never work. Why can't you invent something useful? An anti-tooth decay vaccine? An everlasting light bulb? My dear uninformed associate, this lie detector, the fruit of my genius, can pick up brain waves within a range of 10 meters. It's going to work great, you'll see. You finally got rid of Cousin Boule. He really was getting on my nerves. Make yourself at home, Boule. Sally's happy to give up her room. Hi there, cuz. I know I'm pretty good looking. Hey, I think we're going to be great buddies. Enjoy, Boule, dear. The guest always has the best slice. Okay, so he's sprawled all over your bed. He's in love with himself and there's no cake left. You can write a whole blog about that. Are you kidding? Boule this and Boule that? I'm not jealous, but it's all about him. Hey, Boule, don't forget our cricket match tonight. I never play with Sally. She hates it. Hey, you're on, Uncle. Boule is always ready. <sighs> He's even got the neighbors in his pocket. First wheeler dealer Tom. Hi, Tom. Did you manage to find that sparkly bracelet I asked for? 
totally forgot. Hey, Boule! How would you fancy a cricket sweater? I can get you one really cheap if you want. Even the little sister fell for him. Hey, that's not fair. You can't ask him to pay. He really is so sweet. Cousin's gone. Nightmare over. Goodbye, Boule. At last, we can get back to work. Hmm? Oh, I can't leave. Somebody stole my plane ticket. Uh, you're the detective. Can you help me find it? My flight's tonight. Huh? Yeah, um, top priority. Red alert emergency. Oh, Boule, that really is tough luck. I really am so sorry. You see? It works. It really works. The airport has confirmed that nobody has claimed a refund on the ticket. So the thief still has it. That gives us until this evening to find it. Let's go. Oh, no. Everything is ruined. Oh, rats. I've got a zip right on my nose. You're right. This is the biggest problem we've had all day. That's right. I'm totally cursed. It's a good job you're around. It is so cool that I can stay till I get another ticket. Don't worry, Bully. You can stay here all summer. Sally loves sleeping in the living room, and we can play cricket. We absolutely must find this ticket. It's a priority investigation. We start with the reconstruction of the crime scene. I put my ticket in my bag, and I went downstairs and left it in the hall. Yes, I saw you. Then I went to say goodbye to everybody and got into the taxi. That's where I noticed the ticket had disappeared. So while your bag was sitting in the hall, somebody grabbed the chance to steal the ticket. So we have to search the crime scene. As Mrs. Apu had just hoovered, there's a good chance anything left would come from our thief. Ha-ha! A hair! I think this will tell us a lot. I'll get it to talk. In the box for DNA analysis, that will tell us the identity of the thief. He must also have left his fingerprints. With this evidence, we're bound to nab him. Are you still here? We came to ask Sally for your address. Well, I never left. Some crook stole my ticket. Come and see, it's so cool. The SBI is investigating. I've got two detectives all to myself. we have got one of the thieves' hairs. No, stop, Boulet. That's evidence. Dewey's going to analyze it. Oh, no! Our evidence! No! Right. Luckily, I have the prints on the handle of the bag. Brilliant! The SBI team is the best! Ow! Well, we can say goodbye to the fingerprints. And to the investigation, because we lost the evidence. Do I still have powder in my hair? See ya. I'll be fine. Tom's got some super hair gel. I can't wait to get it. You'd think that Boulay doesn't give a hoot about his ticket. Do you get the impression he deliberately sabotaged our investigation? He does look for trouble. It's almost like he wants to stay with you. Aha! That's it! Come on! Look, here's Boulay as a kid, an only child, his parents' little darling. See how happy he is? But the next year, hang on to your stroller, two little brothers in one go. And that's just the beginning. And when you're the oldest, guess who has to look after the midgets? Yeah, he was happier at your place being treated like a royal guest. To the point where he invented the theft of the ticket to stay on longer. Well, he's not getting away with it. Liar! Traitor! You must think I'm a spudhead with that story about the ticket. Are you crazy, Sally? Why would I... Because you want to stay here. It was your one chance. All you had to do was go back and take the ticket out of your bag. What? No, not at all. I didn't hide my airline ticket. I was busy. Save your brain cells. We know perfectly well you're lying. Dewey, why doesn't this thing work? Sally, listen to me. When my ticket was stolen, I Saying was... Saying goodbye to me. Sally Boulay was with me. Sally, your attitude towards Boulay is unacceptable. How can you accuse anyone without a shred of evidence? Little Boulay is so sweet. If having his ticket stolen wasn't enough... I... I'm sorry, Boulay. You do better to think how you can be kind to your cousin while we sort out this problem with the ticket. I am counting on you to be really nice to Boulay. Yeah, that's right. Finally, we can play a little cricket together. But I don't have time. We have an investigation. Sally, family first. Go and play with Boulay. That's an order. Did you see that, cuz? I've got more arms than Shiva. Elf! We've drawn a total blank. The plane leaves in two hours and the investigation hasn't even taken off. Would you like some balm? I bought it from Tom just now. But this stuff is cream for pimples. Oh, sorry. I mixed them up. Uh, wait, it must be here somewhere. 
Don't tell me that Tom managed to sell you all of that. Self-tanning cream, a mirror, hair curlers. Tom sure sells anything and everything. Yeah, I just heard him telling his friend Jason that he was going to sell some tickets or a ticket for, uh... Oh, rats. I can't remember what it was. What, what? ticket? Is it? Yeah, well, I think so. That's what I heard. <gasps> Jeepers, do you think he was talking about my ticket? It makes sense for a swindler like Tom to steal the ticket and resell it. And Tom is always hanging around here. He knew that Boulet was about to leave. He must have seen the bag and just helped himself to it. We just have to run the lie detector over him and beep. No way. Confiscated. Don't mention your silly box again. This is serious business. A close tail and that's all. Come on, let's go stake out Tom. Hey, what about me? Have you forgotten me? How are you going to manage without Cousin Boulet? Here's the hair gel. Just wait a couple of minutes for the ticket. It's hidden under my bed somewhere. Uh, hey, Tom, have you got a pot of gel for me, too? I need it right now. It's an emergency. Oh, yeah? Since when do you care about your looks? Uh, actually, I'm going to play a punk in a friend's video. As you're in a hurry, I won't argue about the price. Oh, being detective is fun. Come on, move it. Do we can't stall him forever? I was made for this. Ow! His report card. What a jerk. His cuddly toy. Oh, yuck. Ow! Do you think this looks okay? Hey, buddy, I don't run a beauty parlor, and Jason's been waiting a while for his ticket. Here, I've got it! These are tickets for the school carnival. How could we get it so wrong? The time's running out. Retreat mode. Go, go, go! Hey! Hmm? Hi there, Boule. What are you doing? Can I play too? Ow! So we quickly climbed up here to help the little kitten that was meowing in the gutter, and now we have to go. <laughs> Boule, wait! This drawing is for you. I started it this morning. I'm giving it to you because you're so sweet and kind and... Okay, Alice. It's true my cousin is the sweetest boy ever, but we have to... What's that? An alarm? And if I uh, dye my hair pink with a green fringe, that'll look classy, right? I knew there was something going on, trying to fool me with Dewey and his hairstyle. You'd better give me back what you've taken before I take you apart. Don't go near my cousin or you'll have me to deal with. Go ahead, try it. Oh! Don't you touch my bully. I know how to fight too. Alice, when did you start this drawing? This morning? Why? But how could you have known that Boulet was going to stay? Unless you stole the ticket. for Dewey's locksmith service. Let me talk to her first. Alice, you know, I understood it all when I saw your drawing. You started your drawing this morning before Boule left. That means you knew you were going to see him again. You love Boule so much you didn't want him to leave, isn't that right? So you hid his plane ticket. But you have to be a big girl. You have to come out and give the ticket back, Alice. No! I have to go back, Alice. My little brothers and sisters need me too. If you come out, I can at least give you a big hug. Stealing my things wasn't good, you know, but I forgive you because for once I have a real fan. Some people feel great in their own zone, while others can't stand to be alone. So much so that they just lose control and get desperate to reach their goal. So it can become a predicament if you can't learn to be independent. Thanks for trying to defend me. You know, you're a great cousin. You won't hold a grudge, will you? Of course not, Sally. We had great fun. Investigation, cricket, climbing, and you found my ticket in time. Goodbye! I hope you'll come back next, holidays. Dewey, I really meant it.
That's right, it's Build Bonanza. The amazing new building block rolls that stick, bend, and flex to create outrageous effects. It's easy. Just peel and apply to virtually any surface. Then connect your blocks. Wow, a custom base to build outer space. Thanks to our universal peg system, Build Bonanza connects with Lego blocks, Mega blocks, and more to build and play like never before. And look, it cuts to any size so you can race around furniture, curve up the walls, connect to windows, even swirl around the globe. Then it easily peels off. And don't worry, there's no sticky residue left behind. But here's the best part. Build Bonanza is even reusable over and over again for years of fun. The magic? Flex Peg technology that grabs tight to your blocks while bending and flexing in any direction. Go ahead, create crazy headbands. Suspend a bridge from your fridge. Wow, they're even waterproof. Forget flat, boring landscapes. Now build up, under, and all around with Build Bonanza. Build, build, build. You can call or log on and get four Build Bonanza rolls in red, blue, green, and gray. 12 feet in all. Plus our amazing fun guide loaded with building challenges. Everything for $12.99. But let's build this deal up. We'll double your Build Bonanza offer free with your paid order. Get purple, black, light blue, and orange. That's eight reusable rolls for the same low price. You can call or log on at buildbonanza.com. Must be 18 or older to order. Ask your parents' permission before going online. To order, call 1-800-379-7018 or go online to buildbonanza.com for just $12.99 and we'll double the offer. That's 1-800-379-7018 or log on to buildbonanza.com. Great, good one. Um, when I was walking down the sidewalk, uh, I, f I was running too fast, and I went boom, and I was bleeding. So that's what happened. That's the worst boo-boo I've ever had. And I couldn't walk because of the Band-Aid. The Band-Aid made it worse. It was tickling.